Good morning. Tantric practice, tantric meditation, really stirs up, really generates a lot of psychic energy. If that energy becomes congested in the thoracic area, in the rib cage area, it can create lots of physical and or emotional problems. To prevent this, we do a series of exercises called loosening the heart's knots. Come let us untie the heart's knots together. Very simple. I'm going to sit away from you so that you can see what I'm doing with my hands. So we're sitting on the floor, as described in the video, oh sit. Our hands clasp behind our backs, palms face our back and the floor, and then the wall behind us. Now this is not a full spine twist. Our emphasis on, is on the thoracic spine or the spine behind the rib cage. We gently turn one direction while meditating. I like the phrase, chain that I zig, give all joy. center and turn the other way just like wringing out a washcloth and back to center and separate and rejoin in front of the belly we twist them out and up so that they face the ceiling just like this. Now once again, our emphasis is not our neck, and it's not our waist. It is our rib cage. We bend one way while mentally reciting on the in-breath, zig, and on the out-breath, give all joy. Now we're going to fold forward. Remember what I taught you when doing the Buddha bowing, that in yoga we do not bend from the waist, we merely articulate the pelvis and roll it forward along the heads of the femurs. Well, that same sensibility comes into a seated forward bend. So I recommend sitting in a kneeling samurai posture. Articulate your hips forward, 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 and then relax your upper chest. Once again, be gentle with your tushy muscles and your thigh, your um, hamstrings pull you up. Hands clasped behind the back, the palms face the back and then the floor and then the rear wall. And we gaze forward. Chain the zig, give all joy. Our next exercise <coughs> is very much like the first exercise. This time, instead of twisting with our hands behind our back, we're twisting with our hands in front of our back.
in, back to center, and then the other way. Remember, gentle is the key. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Now we're going to do uh, an exercise that in some circles is called the arrow, and in other circles is simply called cat-cow. In the in-breath, we're going to arch our back, lift our head, and open our mouth. In the out-breath, we bow our head and bow or bow our back. Great, now let's stand up. And this is my favorite exercise. It's also the final one. Let me adjust the camera right quick. Uh, let me adjust the camera just a little bit more. Okay, once again, our hands <coughs> clasp behind our back. Palms face our back, they face the floor, and then they face the wall behind us. Our weight is on the balls of our feet, our hips are pitched forward. We gently turn our gaze to the skies. This is wonderful if you can do it on bare feet, on bare earth. And what I recommend reciting on the in-breath is noticing, and on the out-breath, letting go. And there you go. And now you're ready to practice your 12th phase Surya Namaskar. Until, whoopsie, I'm completely off the screen. Until next we speak, may you and yours be healthy and happy. And of course, remember to register for the next series of weekly webinars right below the control bar. Until next we speak, may you and yours be healthy and happy. Oh, money, pun may whom.